that fucking nobody is John Wick. Welcome to Every Screen. Today we are going to recap an action movie called John Wick. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a bouncer. The movie begins with John mourning the recent death of his beloved wife, Helen, who had been battling a terminal illness. In her last act of love, Helen arranged for a puppy to be delivered to John shortly after her funeral, giving him something to care for and remember her by. One day, John encounters a group of Russian gangsters led by Iosef Tarasov, played by Alfie Allen, at a gas station. Iosef takes a liking to John's vintage car and tries to buy it, but John refuses to sell. That night, Iosef and his men break into John's John's house, beat him up, steal his car, and callously kill the puppy. Unbeknownst to them, John is a retired assassin with a fearsome reputation, and this act reignites his long dormant rage and skills. John decides to seek vengeance for the death of his puppy and the theft of his car. He reaches out to Aurelio, the owner of a chop shop and a friend, to track down Iosef. Aurelio reveals that Iosef is the son of Vigo Tarasov, a powerful and ruthless Russian mobster who was John's former employer and mentor. As as John systematically takes down Iosef's henchmen and associates, Vigo learns of his son's actions and realizes the magnitude of the trouble that Iosef has brought upon himself and their entire organization. Vigo, aware of John's unparalleled skills and lethality, puts out a significant bounty on John's head, drawing the attention of numerous other assassins and hitmen who are eager to claim the reward. Despite facing relentless attacks and traps set by Vigo's men and other contract killers, John proves to be more than a match for his adversaries, showcasing his precise marksmanship, hand-to-hand -hand combat abilities, and tactical brilliance. With the help of his former colleague Marcus, played by Willem Dafoe, and the resources provided by the Continental, a hotel catering to assassins, John continues his mission to eliminate everyone responsible for the pain and suffering caused by the senseless act of violence against him. Ultimately, John confronts Vigo, leading to a climactic showdown where John's determination and unmatched skills are put to the ultimate test. Despite facing overwhelming odds and numerous close calls, John emerges victorious, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. The film concludes with John reclaiming his stolen car and finding solace in the memories of his late wife, knowing that he has avenged the life of the innocent puppy she had gifted him. However, John's actions have also set in motion a chain of events that will have far-reaching consequences in the criminal underworld, setting the stage for the thrilling sequels that follow. When Helen died, I lost everything. Until that dog arrived on my doorstep. A final gift for my wife. 